Hey, good morning, guys. We know that more than 60 people became shooting victims due to gun violence that happened over the holiday weekend. The latest were the three teens that you were just talking about, one of them in critical condition after being shot in the eye. Now, this happened here on the west side last night near the corner of Springfield and Gladys Avenues just before midnight in the Garfield Park neighborhood. Police are saying that three teens were on a front porch when someone from a dark color sedan fired rounds towards them. Now, a 17-year-old girl is in critical condition here at Stroger Hospital after she was shot in the right eye. Another 17 year old girl is here in good condition after she was hit in the leg and behind. And there was a 19 year old who's in good condition after he was shot in his arm. He's at Mount Sinai Hospital. But the gun violence numbers for the holiday weekend reached beyond 60 victims with more than 10 people dying from shootings throughout Chicago. Gladys Avenue saw multiple shootings. Two others were killed on the street over the weekend as well. In the Roseland neighborhood, two men in their 30s were killed when someone started shooting off rounds during a Father's Day celebration near the corner of 99th and Princeton. 32-year-old Brian Ross was one of those victims who lost his life during that shooting. So far, no one is in custody. Now, we did hear from Mayor Brandon Johnson, who said the gun violence will not be an overnight fix, but a change can come when people begin to unify. Every time I read and hear about another life that is lost because of violence, my heart breaks. 15-year-olds, 14-year-olds, you all know I'm raising children in Chicago. Mm -hmm. It hurts, and it's going to take all of us to build the type of society that can lead to the type of liberation that comes with the ability to be able to walk down the street without being harmed. Yeah, and while investigators are still looking into that Garfield Park shooting, so far no one has been arrested. If you have any information that can lead to an arrest for that shooting or others that happened during the weekend, police want you to contact them immediately. For now, we're live outside of Georgia Hospital in Glen Marshall, WGN News.